What's up, everybody? I am Brian the Bromad. Welcome to another episode of Bromatic Life Adventures. I am super excited about this episode. I'm excited because I'm on my way to the All About the Banks meetup. If you don't know what All About the Banks is, it is a YouTube channel that was started by Dwayne Banks and his wife. They really, really seem like just good down to earth people. I enjoy watching their videos. I've been a subscriber for a while, but I really enjoy their perspective of their camping and RV experiences. And I'm really excited about having a chance to go to their meetup and excited about meeting them. And also I found out that some of my other YouTubers I follow will also be at this meetup. So I'm excited about meeting them as well. Also, their meetup is going to be in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I have never been to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've heard a lot about it. Everybody I've talked to who's going to Myrtle Beach said they absolutely enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And then I'm excited but nervous, a little nervous in a good way because this will be the longest RV trip that I have taken. But I'm excited and I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Welcome, Welcome to Bromatic Life, Life Adventures. Adventures. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, this is one of the reasons why I love driving. Um, I love starting out early in the morning. When I started out, it was dark. And it's just a peaceful feeling when you're driving and you get to actually watch the sun rise while you're driving. Love it. Beautiful. All right, so the trip from Dallas to Myrtle Beach by RV in particular is approximately 16 to 18 hours. And I was not about to take that trip and try to drive in one stretch. So what I did, I divided it up basically into thirds. So the first leg, uh, which is what I'm on today, is me going from Dallas to Jackson, Mississippi. So that's gonna be the first leg. Um, the next day tomorrow, I'll leave from Jackson and I'll go to Atlanta. And then uh, the following day, I'll leave from Atlanta and I'll get on in to Myrtle Beach. Now, I could have divided it up into two different days, but you know, I don't mind this being my spring break. I kind of wanted to take my time. So basically, with me dividing everything up into thirds, it's approximately six hours per leg. So that's what I'm doing. We're gonna get on down the road to Jackson, Mississippi. All right, I'm about an hour and 45 minutes from where I'm going to be staying in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm at a rest stop about just right outside of Monroe. So I'm going here to take a restroom break and then I'm probably gonna take a little nap for about an hour and get back on the road. I had a great nap. I am back on the road to 
Jackson, Mississippi. Now, when I get to Jackson, Mississippi, I'll be staying at a Harvest Host. I'll let you know which Harvest Host when we get there. Right now, I just want to get on down the road. I'm about 10 minutes from my Harvest Host destination at the Askew's Landing RV Campground in Edwards, Mississippi. Askew's Landing RV Campground is located in Edwards, Mississippi. I found Askew's Landing through Harvest Host while planning for this road trip. According to the website, Askew's Landing has 97 electric water and sewer sites for all these of all shapes and sizes with plenty of space and lots of shades. Some of the amenities include a community gathering area, free Starlink Wi-Fi, kids playground, dog parks, 15 acre stock lake, saltwater swimming pool, modern clean bathrooms, a historic camp essential store, picnic tables, laundry facilities, lawn games and sports goals, and on-site propane. Askew's Landing appears to be a pretty cool place, but as always, it's time to check it out for myself. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Beautiful is this property. Kyle, the destination is on your left. A cute landing RV campground. And they have what's called a horse hotel over there. This is absolutely beautiful. This is why I like RVing. I love discovering beautiful places, God's creation that I've never seen before. Amazing. Here's like a little pond they have on the property. Just beautiful. OMG. How you hey, doing? Buddy. Brian Davis. Have a reservation for Brian Davis. Yes, sir. This place is absolutely beautiful. It, it, trust me, I'm from North Carolina. and I was like, I'm loving it. what in the world? I am loving it. So, at this beautiful campground, I am on site 46. Site 46. Beautiful. You know, normally, you know, I always kind of 
feel uncomfortable when it's so close together. Um, but this this is so beautiful, you know. I don't mind. I'm only here for one night. But once I get settled, I gotta walk around and just look at this beautiful scenery. Yeah, I see. <laughs> so 46 is on this side of the pole. This side, okay. So all your hookups are on the wrong side, right? Okay. But if you want to go around and pull in by that uh, merry-go-round, you can pull through, okay. or get disconnect. Okay, and just fa facing that way? Right, right. Because okay. you want to you wanna be on the uh, oh. traffic side. Got you. Okay. Right I'll drive around. Here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, so it was a pretty easy setup because I'm not doing any sewer. I'm in site 46. And I'm gonna show you real quickly. All it was was plugging up my electric and my water. And actually this site had the hookups on the wrong side. So I actually had to put my cord, my water hose and my electrical cord under the RV. Let me show you. So it should have been on the other side. However, we made it work. This is a very beautiful campground. Neither one of the sites are paid with cement. It's all hard sand and gravel. But for this setting, it works. It just blends in with the natural look of the facility they have a rather large pond on that side actually i guess if he's in one big pond there's a little barrier thing where you can walk over over there a little fishing pier and some actual sites looks like about five sites 59 through 63 right on the water each one of them have little fire pits as you can see So relaxing out here. And the weather today is just absolutely beautiful. My little joker over there. Edwards, Mississippi. Even in this small campground, there's a little pool. I guess it's not quite warm enough to be open, but it's there. Very nice and small, intimate campground. They also have canoes, and here's a nice little shaded area. Very simple and nice. It's 
small and intimate. Very simple, not fancy, but clean. All right, so as always, there's always something going on with an RV. It doesn't matter if it's the Class A travel trailer. There's always something going on with an RV. Uh, a few episodes ago, when I went to Waco, I had an issue when I hooked the water up uh, to the city water at the place we were staying. As soon as I turned it on, as you can see in this video right here, the water started coming out. I was able to call my RV guy. We identified that it was a leak in the hose on the outdoor kitchen. Uh, he talked me through it. He came by, showed me what was going on, talked me through it, and I actually was able to make the repair myself. So once again, that's going fine. So now when I came in here to check my mattress and get my mattress ready, I noticed there was another hole. I'm going to show it to you. As you can see, when I lift my mattress up, there's a hole or opening right on the side of my little place where I have my cabinetry right here. There's a little place where the side of the wall separated from this board part and the little trim that's on there. So what I decided was to go ahead and call my RV repairman again. And he told me I probably need the caulk and he suggested I get this caulk. This is a 100% silicone caulk. And so I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna try to caulk the area um, where it is detached, the wood strip from the, I guess it's fabricated wood wall. I don't know if it's real wood or not, but it's a thin piece. Um, so we're going to go check that out real quick. It looks like that it's probably an opening that goes down into my underneath storage. So we're going to go out there and check that out. So what it looks like is this place that stores my table. If I look up under here, this piece right here is where it's attached. So it doesn't look like it's a hard fix at all. Actually, if I add another screw, I could just screw that shut right there. I might just, hmm, do I have a screw? I don't know if I have a screw or not, but that, I may just uh, go ahead and caulk it and seal it for now. But uh, it's a simple fix. But I'm afraid if I don't fix it now, it's gonna get worse. All right, so that was a simple fix. I just put the silicone caulk up in the opening and everything it's caulked, no openings, no critters, no bugs can get through that way.
Good morning, good morning. I had a great night's sleep last night on my comfortable RV bed. As I've shared many times before, that bed is more comfortable than my bed at home. Uh, it is a nice morning this morning, a great day for travel. Again, I'm in Edwards, Mississippi, which is just right outside of Jackson, Mississippi. I'm about to pack up and get on down the road. Today's uh, leg, which is day two, I will be traveling to Atlanta. It's about a six hour drive. I'll probably uh, head out. I'll probably find a uh, Planet Fitness to take a shower. I didn't want to take a shower here because uh, we don't have any kind of, we don't have a uh, sewage. They do have a dump station, but I don't want to have to stop and drain the tanks and stuff like that. So I'll probably stop at Planet Fitness and I'll also probably stop at Crackle Bell. So let me go ahead and get packed up so I can get back on the road. So I've been having a low tire and hopefully I can get it aired up and kept up till I can replace it. Well, I am almost ready to head out. Um, I wanna give a shout out to the staff here in Askew Landing RV Campground. The staff was amazing. They were friendly. They were knowledgeable. Um, they were funny too. The ladies in the front office, uh, we had some great conversation. Um, so that's what you wanna see when you come to a campground. I am a little bit outside of Jackson, Edwards, where I was staying at the campground, is about 25 miles or so from Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, I am going to go get to Love's or Flying J at one of those. I'm going to fill up with my gas and I'm going to fill up Def. And I'm also going to stop at a Cracker Barrel and try to um, find a Planet Fitness so I can go ahead and get my shower, my food and my fuel all in one stop if possible so let's go It's been a long day. I'm about one hour and 15 minutes from uh, Lawrenceville is the actual city um, outside of Atlanta where I'm going. Staying with a uh, college friend of mine, Paul and his wife. I'm way behind schedule today. I was expecting to be here a few hours earlier than now, but hey, that's what happens when you travel. Um, thankfully, I'm safe and sound and I will get there. Um, we got about an hour and 15 minutes and we'll be at my destination for tonight. Well, the original plan was to be in the Atlanta area about three or four hours earlier. But as they say, RV stuff happens. So I wasn't able to check out some of the Atlanta area attractions like I had hoped to. But I was very thankful to have had some good food, good conversation, and good laughs with my college friend, Paul. Don't forget to stay tuned for part two of my spring break RV road trip as I finally arrive at Myrtle Beach for the All About the Banks meetup. Got all my favorite YouTube channels that I watch here. 
playing outside after 50. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be a great time. Thank you for watching this episode of Bromatic Life Adventures. If you thought this episode was cool, click on the like button and share this channel with your friends. If you have not already done so, I invite you to click on the subscribe button so you can subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you may be notified anytime a new episode is released. If you have any positive comments, please leave them in the comments section. All these things will help me grow my channel and make it better. This is Brian the Bromad. God bless and peace.